Goblet Squad Coronation. Well, disappointing loss tonight. Losing 8-5 to to the Atlanta Braves. Uh, and although we lose in this game, we still take 2-3 of three from Atlanta. The best team in baseball, we scored 21 runs uh, in the two games that we won against them, Tuesday and Wednesday. And, uh, yeah, Adam Wainwright making the final start ever against the team that drafted him uh, and in his hometown, or at home state of Georgia. And, this, of course, has not been the season he wanted. And is still trying to get to win over 200, and it's still possible, but... So really he's got to win, uh, like, two of his final three or four starts to get that. So, anyway, Atlanta would take an early 1-0 lead on the very first pitch of the game. Or of the uh, bottom of the first, I guess. Yeah, solo home run by the possible MVP, Ronald Acuna Jr. That will give Atlanta a 1-0 lead. Uh, and for Acuna, his uh, 30, 33rd home run of the year to make it 1-0 Atlanta. And then later in the inning, a walk to Ozzy Albies and then a double by Olsen. And then Eddie Rosario, two-run single to make it 3-0 Atlanta. But then in the top of the second, we would respond... Uh, with the bases loaded, Andrew Kisner would be hit by a pitch to put us on the board and make it 3-1. And then Tommy Edmond with a two-run single to tie the game 3-3. It's just like that. We would respond, tie the game. And it would stay tied until the bottom of the fifth when Matt Olson would give the Braves a 4-3 lead, major league winning 47th home run. Uh... And, uh, RBI, uh, 116. So, Polson making a case to be the major league home run leader this year. Uh, not far ahead of, uh, Shohei Otani. So, uh, and then, the bottom of the sixth, Michael Harris solo home run to make it 5-3. to three. And then, Ronald Acuna. With his second home run, she gave the Braves a 6-3 lead. So, uh, two home runs by Cunha. He now has 34, and that home run would knock Wainwright out of the game. And then a uh, one out by uh, Jacob Barnes, and then Barnes would come in and get two outs in the seventh, but then a two-run home run hit by Travis Dardo. Uh, their catcher, uh, that would give them a 8-3 to lead for Darno, his 11th home run, to make it 8-3, to and then replacing uh, Jacob Barnes would be the lefty Matthew Levertor, first appearance off the I.L. for Libby, and we'll go in any in third, uh, strikeout, a batter, uh, so the Braves, all of their runs in this game, came on home runs, uh, or actually, no, sorry, not, not all of their runs, but they hit, uh, five home runs overall, two by Acuna and Matt Olson, home runs in all three games of the series, and now home runs in four straight games overall, so, rough start for Wainwright, really hope he can just have a, you know, nice, last few starts before he, his career will be done, so, um, but yeah, it's just so happy that we took two out of three from the best team in baseball, I honestly am quite surprised, really did not see that happening, but, uh, we'll take it, obviously, so, now we get a three-game series Friday night against the Cincinnati Reds, a team that's right in the hunt in the National League wild card, and we have not played the Reds since 
the middle of June, and yeah, so we'll see how that series goes. So, uh, um, top wild card teams in the National League: the Phillies, Cubs, and Diamondbacks are the top three, and the Marlins and the Reds just a half game back, and the Giants two and a half back. So it's very very tight wild card spots. So anyway, till Friday, comics better sing go cards.